After the conclusion of the dark tournament, Yusuke Urameshi grows restless with his monotonous life and the lack of excitement it offers. However, his boredom is abruptly interrupted when three students with extraordinary psychic abilities kidnap him. Botan, Kuwabara, Kurama, and Hiei must utilize their own mental powers to rescue their friend and uncover the mastermind behind the abduction. Initially, Hiei, Kuwabara, and Botan face defeat in a game orchestrated by the kidnappers. But with the timely intervention of Kurama, they manage to overcome the challenges and emerge victorious. To their surprise, they discover that the entire ordeal was a test set up by Genkai to assess Yusuke and his friend's perceptiveness. The three students who kidnapped Yusuke were actually Genkai's new apprentices. Furthermore, they learn that someone is attempting to create a tunnel to the demon world, following in the footsteps of Sakyo. Koenma explains that violent apparitions will soon flood the streets, and the tunnel is scheduled to open in one week. The barrier guarding the demon world only repels S-class and A-class demons, allowing B-class demons to pass through. Team Urameshi is given three weeks to locate and defeat those responsible for breaching the barrier. Yusuke, Genkai, Kido, and Yanagisawa visit a local bar where they encounter Moroda, a psychic human with mind-reading abilities. Yusuke challenges Moroda to a fight and emerges as the victor. Moroda agrees to assist them in uncovering the person behind the breach but is later hospitalized after being injured by a pencil eraser shot by someone known as Sniper. They discover that seven individuals are involved in the plot to breach the barrier. While in the hospital, Yanagisawa and Moroda fall victim to bugs released by a person called Doctor, and Kido has his spinal cord severed by Doctor's psychic scalpel. Yusuke arrives and, using Kido's shadow to locate Doctor, engages in a battle. Yusuke is faced with a difficult decision of whether to kill Doctor to save the hospital's occupants. Kuwabara, Botan, Kurama, and Kaido arrive at the hospital to provide assistance. Yusuke manages to defeat Doctor by blasting him out of his territory. Koenma informs Yusuke, Kuwabara, and Botan that the breach will occur in one week due to its spherical shape. Yusuke and Kuwabara temporarily go their separate ways, with the latter attending a concert with his friends. Meanwhile, Kurama visits Koenma, suspecting that he might already know the identity of the mastermind. During this time, Kuwabara and his friends are attacked by a person named Seaman, who traps Kuwabara's friends inside an aquatic creature. Despite initially struggling to use his powers, Kuwabara's spirit sword awakens, allowing him to free his friends and defeat Seaman. Kuwabara brings his friends, including Seaman, back to his home. Seaman shows them a video called Chapter Black, which reveals the atrocities committed by humans against one another. The video unveils Sensui, known as the Black Angel, as a former spirit detective and the mastermind behind the plot to remove the barrier to the demon world. While recuperating in Kuwabara's apartment, they are attacked by Sensui and Sniper. Sensui, aware that Kuwabara holds the key to breaking the barrier, kidnaps him. Yusuke and his team give chase to rescue Kuwabara. During the pursuit, Yusuke is ambushed by Sniper, who uses a sniper rifle to attack from a distance. However, Yusuke's formidable fighting skills and protagonist status make him a formidable opponent. Yusuke employs his spiritual energy and enhanced physical abilities to evade sniper's shots and narrow the gap between them. Utilizing his quick reflexes, strength, and hand-to-hand -hand combat prowess, Yusuke engages sniper in close quarters combat. Throughout the battle, Yusuke utilizes his spirit gun technique, a powerful energy blast fired from his fingertips, to counter sniper's long-range attacks. The clash between Yusuke's raw power and Sniper's precision creates a thrilling and suspenseful encounter. As the fight progresses, Yusuke gains the upper hand, overwhelming Sniper with his close quarters combat skills and unwavering determination. In a final, powerful strike, Yusuke emerges victorious against Sniper. Yusuke then reaches the entrance of the cave, where he reunites with Kurama, Genkai, Kaido, and Seaman, who has now become their ally. Their next opponent is the Game Master, whose powers revolve around bringing games to life. To progress, the team must win 4 out of 7 games. Seaman wins the tennis game, Genkai triumphs in the Battle Heli game, and Yusuke emerges victorious in the King of the Hill game. For the fourth win, Kaido volunteers for the battle quiz, relying on his memorization skills. However, the Game Master tricks Kaido, leading to his defeat. Kurama then makes a difficult choice that results in his victory against the Game Master. Following the defeat of the Game Master, the team continues advancing through the cave to confront Sensui and save Kuwabara. At the end of the cave, they encounter Sensui, the Gatekeeper, and Makihara, who are guarding Kuwabara. Sensui assigns Makihara to prevent them from reaching Kuwabara, leading to a battle between Makihara and Kurama. 
Although Kurama defeats Makihara using his Rose Whip, he realizes that Elder Toguro is controlling Makihara. Kurama engages in a battle with Elder Toguro, employing an illusion plant to emerge as the victor. Finally, the ultimate match between Yusuke and Sensui begins. As the fight progresses, Yusuke confronts Sensui directly, and their intense clash begins. Sensui's power is enhanced by his encounter with supernatural entities when he was younger, but Yusuke taps into his immense potential, driven by his desire to protect humanity and his loved ones. The battle between Yusuke and Sensui is fierce, with both fighters unleashing their most devastating techniques. Yusuke showcases his spirit gun, a powerful energy blast, and relies on his exceptional strength and endurance. Sensui utilizes various elemental and spiritual attacks, demonstrating his mastery over different powers. The confrontation escalates, with both Yusuke and Sensui pushing themselves to the limits of their abilities. Exhaustion looms, but Yusuke's unwavering determination and willpower fuel his resolve. In the climactic moment, Yusuke taps into his ancestral demon bloodline, triggering a transformation into a more powerful demon form. Empowered by this newfound strength, Yusuke delivers a decisive blow to Sensui, ultimately defeating him and preventing the opening of the demon portal. The battle between Yusuke and Sensui extends beyond physical combat, encompassing a clash of ideologies. It raises profound questions about the nature of good and evil, the complexities of human nature, and the responsibility that comes with power. Yusuke's victory against Sensui marks a significant turning point in the series, solidifying his growth as a character and his role as a defender of humanity. It also sets the stage for the subsequent arcs and challenges that Yusuke and his friends will face.